Welcome to my channel, my name is Bella, and today I thought we would do a different kind of video. Um, I'm trying to explore kind of like my interests and your guys' interests of kind of what videos you guys want to see. Um, so today I thought I would try a day in my life kind of video. So I have a couple of things planned for today. I have to go to a meat shop is or butcher I don't know um I have a certificate from my work that I can go pick up some meats and I usually have my dad go and he gets whatever meats he wants it's like a treat for him um I want to go to TJ Maxx because I'm looking for some skinny syrups um, I ordered some from Amazon, well, one from Amazon, and I really liked it, but I want to see if TJ Maxx has them, and if they do, if they're cheaper. And my main goal today is to really clean <laughs> my house, like you can kind of see behind me. It's kind of a hot mess, and I have the day off today, and so I just want to clean and get everything ready to go so I can start next week fresh. Um, it's the day before Thanksgiving and tomorrow we're going to be at my parents' house for most of the day so I just want everything squared away. And I also need to go to the grocery store to pick up some things for dinner tonight which I will also show you the recipe for as well. So, all that being said, I am, I am very tired. So I think we're just going to start with cleaning the house. I think I'm going to do the dishes first. you guys real fast that this is one of the products that we sell in our store since you guys can see it it's a little maroon kind of chiffani scrunchie so if you're interested in that link is in the bio Okay, sorry, kind of a weird angle, <laughs> um, but I'm taking a break from cleaning for a little bit because I am so tired out there, it's only been an hour, but I, since I'm seeing my dad today, um, I have a little gift for him as a thank you to for helping us with our house he built my bookshelves in my office and he helped me do some yard work and thank you so one thing that i'm doing this year with wrapping is one i get different wrapping paper every year and i wrap all the gifts in that paper so this year it's this paper but since it's not a christmas gift um I'm wrapping it in this paper so that I know what's what. As I was saying, the one thing that I've been doing this year for my gift is I'm using this double-sided tape and this little dispenser makes it so easy. Alrighty, you guys, please ignore 
the construction that is happening outside of my house. It is very loud, but I'm about to go to TJ Maxx, I think, because I'm getting a little cabin feverish, I guess, because I know I should be cleaning, but I really don't want to. Please, if you can hear my dishwasher as well, ignore that. Lots of sounds happening. Um, this is the syrup that I was talking about. Um, so I'm going to see if they have more flavors of these at TJ Maxx. These, this one in particular was $11. And we tried this little recipe right here for the hot cocoa. And it was so good. So I want to see if we can find more of those. So I thought I'd show you making my breakfast. And it's really easy. Um, I used a cup to mix in and my little dash waffle maker. I use this almost every single day. So while that's heating, all you need is some cheese, whatever cheese you like, and one egg. So this is like the part one of the breakfast and I'll show you what else you need as we go. So all I'm going to do is crack the egg. And then a half a cup of cheese, but I kind of just guesstimate at this point. I just do like a big handful. Um, I've measured before, so you can totally do that. And then I just use a fork and you mix. And it doesn't look like it's combining at first, but if you just keep stirring, it'll get there. My little blue light just turned off, so that's how I know it's ready and that's ready to go. So then I open this and I put some of the mixture in. I try and do half and half but I usually get it off so it's really a guessing game. And then you close and this blue light will pop back on and then once it pops off again then I know it's done. So while that's going I'm going to move to my little pan over there. I'm using the fully cooked original breakfast turkey patties from Great Value. So while that's going, I'm gonna get a little plate out so that I can put it on something. And you wanna get a different fork to take it out because you don't wanna mix your raw egg with your cooked egg. So you can see the light just went off, so this one is done. And I use the fork to lift it because the steam is hot. And it should look something like that. I put a little too much in, so it's a little big. Just move my plate over, slide it on, and that's half of it. And then I put as much of the rest of the mixture as I possibly can into the next batch. I use the light to time both of my things, so now I'm going to flip my little sausage. And I'm really hungry actually, so while we're waiting, I'm going to drink some of the juice that I made um, last night. It has carrot, celery, and apple in it, and this is like a little 8 ounce, sorry, this is a little 8 ounce jar, so I think I'm just going to drink this while I'm waiting for this to finish, so I'm not starving. <laughs> I finished my juice, I just put it in the sink, and I don't know if you guys can hear, but this light does kind of make an audible sound so you can hear it. So same thing. That one actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to unplug my little um, waffle maker, turn off my stove, and I'm going to take the sausage, put it on top, and I'm actually going to eat some ketchup today. And that's breakfast. And you just kind of eat it like a sandwich or you can use a fork if you want, but I always eat it like a sandwich. So I decided before I get dressed and get ready to go to TJ Maxx, I should clean up my dining room table because as you can see, it's kind of messy, and that will at least finish kind of like our main living area. Um, so, and it shouldn't take that long. So I think that's a good plan. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that real fast, then get dressed, and 
then we'll be on our way. All right. dining table which you guys can see or my kitchen table however you want to say it um, these were lying on it these are another product of ours they're little teddy bear earrings there you go teddy bear earrings I'm gonna be wearing these today which is why I'm showing you them now because I don't want to talk about it later okay I'm trying my best to show you guys my outfit I don't really have a mirror but I have some high waisted jeans from surprisingly Walmart, $15, they're pretty good. They're a little short on the ankles, but I think they're supposed to be like that. I have this black long sleeve top with this little detailing here. We're ready to go, so let's go. All right, this is kind of an awkward angle, but I'm finally at Teen JD Maxx. I don't know if I'm going to film in there or not. I might just do little clips without talking and then show you guys what I get after. Also, if you're interested in this mask, my coworker made it. She has an Etsy shop as well. Um, I don't know if she sells this exact one, but if she does, I'll leave that link down below. Otherwise, I'll just leave something similar from her shop down below. So, Let's go. I'm kind of really excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. That store is addictive. $41. I got, I found some of the things that I actually went there for, but I got some things that I didn't need. Well, like I needed it, but I didn't need it. Like I got some hand sanitizer gel. It smells like peppermint, apparently. Obviously, I can smell in the store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was too much. I don't know if it really smells like peppermint. But the reason why I wanted it is because I wanted to go into my cup holder. Another kind of weird thing I got is a UV sanitizer case. Um, because it was only $11.00. And all the other ones I've seen are really expensive. And like my phone is the one thing, I feel like for everyone that they don't really think about cleaning. And so if I could just pop it in every night, um, just so that it can do like some cleaning. If it does just a minuscule amount, I'll be happy. Um, I got some like instant coffee because I just wanted to try it with the syrups that I ended up getting. So I got a little three pack, and guys, the prices here are so much better than online. So if you have a TJ Maxx that's kind of convenient for you, go to that before you order these on um, Amazon because they're much cheaper. So I got a little like three set. So it's vanilla, mocha, and salted caramel, or salted caramel, vanilla, mocha, you know what I mean. And this whole thing was $6.99 which is really good. These bigger ones were $4 each. And remember I paid $11, but they didn't have the toasted marshmallow one here. So you have to like pick and choose, I guess. But um, I ended up getting cinnamon vanilla because that sounded delicious. Glazed donut, it's Christmas cookie. So if we like this one, I need to stock up because I guess it's limited edition. I'm just gonna... Hmm. It smells good and bad at the same time. <laughs> All right, I'm home now. Looking a little worse for wear. I want to open the phone sanitizer with you guys. Um, I can't show you like me putting my phone in it because I'm filming with my phone. So this is what the little container looks like. Phones, like they show phones, watches, headphones, um, 
rings. I know people do their keys. I normally keep my keys inside my bag, so I don't know if I need to do that. Oh, so once it's done, you take it out, flip it, and then do it again. Um, five minutes, 10 minutes for a totally clean phone. If you're doing it often enough, I guess the fast sanitize would be good enough. So I am going to try this out. I wish I could, I had a way to see if it actually works, but um, I don't. But I'll feel better about it, so, you know. Oh, it's a USB-C. Huh, that's cool. It's neat. Well, I'm gonna try it, keep an eye on it, and I can't really give you updates in between, but after, I'll let you know how I feel. <laughs> All right, <laughs> maybe you guys saw a clip a little bit of my phone inside of this. I mean, it didn't really show much, it was just blue. Um, but the when I opened it, like the lights, where the lights are, it's warm. Not like out hot, but like it's definitely a little warm when you touch it. I painted my nails when I was waiting. Um, I don't know. I think I feel better about it. I did the deep clean front and back. Um, so I'm okay with this price. So if you were thinking about getting one but didn't want to get like a super expensive one, TJ Maxx, 11 bucks, where it's at. I think I'm going to use that for sure. Um... I'm trying to decide if I want a coffee or not to try some of these syrups. I feel like I should, but I'm also kind of hungry. Mm, I don't know. Whew. That's so weird. It smells like a like when you walk into a craft store and they have all those Christmas decorations out. That's what it smells like. And that's strange. <laughs> oh my god, I can smell this one. That's strange. Kind of smells like lemon or orange. And then we have this little pack, which I think is so, they're so cute. I think I'm only gonna smell the salted caramel because that's the only one I'm really interested in. I got the mocha and the vanilla to just have as, as basics. I'm not really in the mood for those ones. Those are mostly for my boyfriend, I think. Mmm. Smells pretty good. I don't know. Hard decisions. I think I'm gonna go with cinnamon vanilla. Just because I'm really curious about it. I'm also really curious about Christmas cookie, but I think I'm gonna have that one later tonight. So, I'm gonna go with final, final answer, cinnamon vanilla with a Via Instant Medium Row Starbucks Columbia Coffee. I don't know if I said how much this was. This was $5. I don't know if that's good or not, but it was like basically the only instant coffee they had. So I'm brewing some, ignore my mess. I clean this up at the end of the day. So just ignore that. Um, I'm brewing some hot water. I might have to get a bigger cup, but I really liked this cup. Um, but I might have to get a, diff a taller one. Send those away. Because I also want to add some almond milk, so I don't want to add too much yet. Before I get a chance to add my almond milk not work very well. I am a hot mess. It's really hard when you don't have scissors. I don't know where they are. We have scissors, I just don't know where they are. Add the coffee. Add some vanilla. 
on the milk. Anyway, and then we do a tablespoon, I think. One tablespoon. You can always add more, but let's start with one tablespoon. Lemon vanilla. Just that there. Oh god. <laughs> that coffee is real strong. So I'm gonna very messily. I'm gonna do three. I need my coffee real sweet. Oy. Boy. And if this doesn't do it, then maybe that coffee isn't good. That is so much better. I think I can actually drink it now. It still tastes a little too much like coffee to me. But I think if I was able to add more milk, three tablespoons is what I have to do. So if you like it real sweet, three tablespoons. I don't even know if I can taste the cinnamon or vanilla coming through. I don't know if I'm actually going to drink all of this, but I'll update you. So I drank most of that coffee and it kind of held me over for the most part. Very strong coffee, but the syrup did a really good job. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my cat and I had a little snuggle. And so now I'm covered in cat hair. I don't know if that really, that coffee really helps me like energy wise because I feel really tired now. My dad just texted me that he's ready to go to the meat place. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's just a meat shop or if it's actually a butcher. I don't I don't know. You're on my toaster so hopefully you don't fall. Um but before I go, I'm going to make a sweet potato and then I can eat it when I'm at his house because I am still hungry. But what I do is I just take a fork and I just puncture it. I don't think you guys really need to see I'm just stabbing it all around. And then I'm gonna wet, let me talk to you. And then I'm going to wet um, a paper towel, not soaking wet, kind of damp. And then I'm gonna wrap it and then cook it in the microwave for I think three minutes. Swaddle it <laughs> like a little baby. Put it in the microwave. Ooh, it's sizzling and have it steam in there a little bit and then I'll eat it at my dad so I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys I have so much construction going on right now by my house. It is so insane it's so annoying so I'm kind of glad I'm getting out of the house right now because oh my god it's literally shaking our house um, because we're right on our back of our house faces a, not a main road, but like a road that a lot of people go on. And that's where they're having the construction right now. So it's just like rumbling our floor. Like you can feel it through the floor. And it's so annoying to just hear constantly. Um, but I also wanted to mention to you guys that that coffee I had earlier... It did have calories in it, so I'm not crazy. Um, it had five calories per packet, so not too bad. Um, so in total, I don't know. <laughs> can you hear this? I don't know if you can hear that, but I guess they're repaving our road, part of our road, and it's so loud, shaking everything. This has been going on for weeks, guys. That's why it's so annoying. Um, anyway, 
So that whole drink was 25 calories with the almond milk and the syrup and the coffee itself. So not too bad for like a little snack. Um, if you like black coffee with a little sweetness, it would just be like five calories because the syrup itself has zero calories. Um, so it's all personal preference. If you like strong, like the taste of coffee or not, I personally don't. I like, I try and get more of the caffeine effect from it. I like a little bit of coffee sometimes. That was very strong for me, but I drank it anyway because it was kind of nice. Like, you get used to it, I suppose. So, I'm on my way to my dad's house. Um, if, if you're wondering why I keep talking about calories, I'm trying to get my diet back in check. And the best way to, for me to do that is to track my calories because I can easily overeat. Um, so, I just like to see where I'm at. I'm not... Like, I'm restricting myself, but not restricting myself, if that makes sense. Like, if I go over, I go over, but at least I know where I'm at uh, for that. So, I'm on my way to my dad's, and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so I finished my sweet potato and now we're on the way to the meat place. I still don't know what to call it. Um, Eastern Meats. I know, but like is it a butcher? It's a butcher shop. A butcher shop. So we're going to the butcher shop so that he can pick out some meats to smoke, which is his like yearly mm. treat. Oh my gosh, I forgot your gift at home. I have a gift for you. Is it prime rib? No, it isn't. Maybe I'll bring it later. I don't know. I'll bring it tomorrow because I obviously I keep forgetting it. It was right there. I showed them wrapping it and everything, and I didn't grab it. That's my memory for you guys. So Not for me, I understand. I'll forget that you told me you were bringing it, so it'll be good. You'll be surprised, <laughs> yeah, you'll be surprised anyway. <laughs> so I'll see you guys when we get to the butcher shop. Just got out of the butcher. Western Meats, I think is what it's called. It used to be Schultz, Western Meats, now it's Larry's. Doing a little haul for you guys. So we got some prime rib. I'm gonna leave that in the bag, it's obviously. massive. Because it's huge. Eight and a half pounds. <laughs> so he's very excited to smoke that up. But while I was waiting for them to cut it and everything, I found Great Western Meats. Larry's Great Western Meats is what it's called. I found apricot ginger teriyaki sauce. Glaze. Glaze. Not sauce. And so he got one and I got one. And I'm thinking this in the crock pot with some chicken and then shred it up afterwards. Yeah, baby. Mmm. Gonna taste good. Over rice. <laughs> So we're going to head home now and I don't know, I might hang out for a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, if something interesting happens, that's when you'll see fighting me again. Fighting evil. You will be fighting evil. I don't know about that. All right. Okay guys, I'm finally home from my dad's and I went to the store and picked up some corn and some sour cream for tonight's dinner. We're having shredded chicken tacos with corn salsa. Sorry if you can still hear the construction outside. It's even louder than it was before. So we're going to just add the chicken, add the corn, and add a half a cup of salsa, a cup of corn, and eight ounces of chicken. I'm just going to add whatever we have. A pan. Um, it says to have it simmer, come to a simmer. And then you guys are just gonna need some cheese to top and sour cream to top, um, if, in case my phone dies and you guys don't see the end. 
And then you guys just need whatever tortillas you want. We just have little street taco tortillas, but we're a little low. And I think I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper this time because it wasn't very, it wasn't super flavorful last time. All right, that's it. And then you just serve, that's all you do. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys later tonight when we try our hot cocoa with the uh, Christmas cookie syrup. Now, oh, headbutt. Okay, hi. Oh. Make a lot of noise. The sugar free 80 calorie cocoa for me. Oh. Cocoa mm -hmm. for him. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So, what did we learn last time we tried this? I don't know. You have to taste it before you put oh. the syrup in. We, well, we don't have to do that anymore. We now know what our things taste like. I don't know what mine tastes like. I had it before I tasted it. Oh. Don't worry about all this mess. Like I said before, I clean it up at the end of the night. Oh, well, look, I replaced the little salt and pepper. Yeah, you did. It's so cute. Oh, pepper. Or the other one. Pepper. Wait, salt. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Isn't that cool? Mmm, that technique. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's flashing out. No, it's fine. It's <laughs> okay. Disgustingness. Now the goop. No, first taste. All right. Yep. Mm. Sweet. Hot. Are we using that? Mine's not as sweet. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> kind of looks like melted frosting, too. All right. Let me just stir it up real fast. Use the spoon for mine. The yeah. Yeah. Okay, rude. Do I smell the cookie? Does it actually smell like a cookie? It smells still more chocolate than I smell the cookie, but yes, it, I do have a hint of cookie. Ooh. Yeah. That's extremely sweet. <laughs> is it good? Extremely sweet. Yeah, I like it. Give me. I don't. I don't taste cookie at all, but it's good. Whatever it's supposed to be. It doesn't taste like it. I'm assuming like a sugar cookie is what I'm thinking. I also don't taste the cookie. Yeah, it's just sweetness. But it adds definitely, I feel like a creaminess to it. Mm. Like it's like, I don't know, like light and fluffy. The marshmallow actually tastes like a marshmallow. It kind of tastes the same to me. It does not at all. You know all. <laughs> what? It kind of tastes like I'm eating a chocolate cookie. Like, for some reason, it has, like, some sort of cookie quality to it. Mm. Do you want me to... No, don't oh, touch okay. it. <laughs> you should say, see, be merry, be bright. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Be merry and bright. No, they're not the same at all. They're very different. I just think you don't remember. I do not... The other one had a toasty marshmallow taste, and it's what it was called, so. Alright. <laughs> you can stop it. Alrighty, you guys. I have been laying here on the floor for way too long. It's very cold in our house right now, but it's currently almost 8.15. I still need to work out and then clean the kitchen, so I always work out before I clean my kitchen and then after I work out I come back up drink some water and clean the kitchen and it just kind of helps with like a post like workout recovery because you're not supposed to sit down right after working out so it gets me moving um, at a slower pace so that I can um, recover easier and don't feel terrible so I usually this past week I've been doing um, my stationary bike for 20 minutes or is it 15 I think it's 15 minutes what I've been doing I can't even remember now why can't I remember I think it's 15 minutes um, so I think I'm going to go do my elliptical today is what I want to do because my knees kind of hurt um, from my stationary bike, which I don't know. 
my knees just kind of hurt when I do that. I have bad knees in my family. So I'm going to grab my headphones and listen to my audiobook while I work out for 15 minutes. Is it 15 or 20? Why can I not remember? I will find out before I start working out. Um, and then I will come back up and clean up the kitchen before going to bed. I usually go to bed around 9. Um, sometimes on the weekends I go to bed around 10. I am such an old person. <laughs> like, not really, but like I feel like I'm old because I go to bed so early. So I'm going to force myself to get up and I will see you downstairs for my workout. And I will find out if it's 15 or 20 minutes. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I have to make this outro super fast as my phone is dying. Thank you to everyone who has watched me. If you like this type of video, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. Also subscribe and like. While you're there, please ignore my crazy appearance. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!